So Rondo, what do you think about flying on a fruit today? So we have here today our super duper success factor expert. This means only one thing. Today it's a success factor show. If you ask SAP sales which success factors modules to implement first, they would say start anywhere, go everywhere. So what they mean is basically you can start with any module. If you would ask any implementation partner that actually implemented the system, they would tell you that you should start with Employee Central. Why is that, Rhonda? Well, it's not a bad idea because you're looking at core HR data here already, managing staff movements and getting the nitty-gritty baseline of your employee data into the system in order for you to be able to transact. Uh, for example, giving spot bonuses, getting people to uh, move around the business and so on. But if you would ask us with 150 implementations under our belt and 11 years with success factors, we would say... It's simply not that easy. While we wait to get into a client, it's a perfect occasion to share this with you because it's very important. So Employee Central is the core HR uh, heart of success factors uh, and it would make sense to start with that and then plug in all the other modules. You got your self-service and a number of features, but it's also one of the... Thank you. It's also one of the modules that take the longer to implement. It's quite complex uh, because it's very powerful. So for a long period of time, for a few months, you will not see anything. So you don't have psychologically any um, satisfaction of the investment that you've done because of course so you are with us or with your implementation partner building the system. And this can create uh, you know, some kind of frustration, if you, if you will. So there are instances where you might not start with Employee Central and, and there are specific ones. So Rhonda, some examples. Well, I guess it depends on your um, business drivers. That's a very big, very big important um, area. So if you, for example, have um, as one of your success measures for this project to, let's say, have employee engagement, implementing Employee Central is not necessarily going to give you that success from the start. The other thing to consider is also your HR calendar. Do you have anything pressing where you don't have something that can fill that gap? So any of your on-premise on solutions or another solution that you're currently using, but also consider license expirations and so on. So that could have a major impact. And then my biggest one is always looking at the um, roadmap for the upgrades, the four upgrades running every year, the changes that are happening. And I mean, we are now starting to look at an era of artificial intelligence. So what is the impact of implementing something like Employee Central now with intelligent services? You know, you so so if, you have, if you have to start with a uh, um, performance cycle in January, for example, and we are in June, then starting Employee Central now would be a little bit risky, do you, what do you think? Not necessarily, because you could do a phased approach for uh, an implementation right, like that. Right. So let's say you might want to have all the core data in, but not necessarily allow for, uh, for people to transact it. You could start looking at maybe rolling out or implementing the HR transaction component of Employee Central a little bit later. But then you still have your foundation data with Employee Central enabled. That's great. So this mixed approach allowed you to have the benefit to not do the rework uh, if you implement if you implement Employee Central later. Because remember, if you start with another module because you want to get uh, time to market quicker, later on you will have to spend some money and time to implement Employee Central, right? So this mixed approach actually uh, is maybe the best of both worlds. I agree. I agree with that. So any any suggestion for somebody when buy the licenses? One tip that uh, you would like to give to anybody starting this journey. So what's important is you already said one size does not fit all. So we typically would not say every customer in this industry or every customer with this number of users need to do X, Y, Z. Um, what we would recommend is that the customers meet with implementation partners in order to find out what a possible rollout strategy would be that meets their major, major business requirements so that when the new renewal of the license comes, Everyone is happy, um, everyone is going to go forward with the, the, the implementation, with the growth Absolutely. of the system and continue using it. So you need to make sure what's going to make you happy at front and unfortunately that is a very individualized, company-wide um, individualized 
thing to do. So it would be a better idea to actually just meet with an implementation partner and find out what their recommendation would be. For any questions, our contact details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. I think we need to eat. We are late for our meeting.